Welcome back to a uh, Hearts of Iron 4 video. Today we're going to be playing the, the Great World mod, which is a uh, World War 1 mod for Hearts of Iron 4. So let's get into it. We're going to be playing 1914. So our first order of business is to um, consolidate our army. Because... Uh, so we're we're, we're going to need that 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 little thing that that the Italians call an army. Now it's going to be very needed, and probably going to be need, need to be trained pretty badly. Next thing that we're going to want to be doing is research some stuff, get new infantry helmets. Get new weapons, research and industry, and also some fighters because you win the battle in the air, you're most likely going to win the war, and that's probably how it will be till the end of time. And we're gonna train these up real quick and then unpause the game and then we're going to pick our national focus which actually we're going to actually support Germany this time what? yeah very very big shocker but, uh, I like Germany a little bit better than France, especially, uh, since they got their all, whole surrendering thing down pat. And Brazil, arguably one of the most boring countries in the world, has actually started a civil war. And it's goatee man. Versus cleanly shaven man. So, which one will win? We don't know. Probably will never know. And we don't have 15 world tension yet. If we have 15 world tension, I would literally be beating them up right now with with my uh, G General Carlo and uh, Manuel. Picori. Carlo Emanuel Picori. That sounds like an actual name. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They did it. The boys did it. They killed them. They killed them. They were dum-dums. And... <laughs> now the Serbians are going to... Uh, learn with Austria means and the more the merrier especially considering there's like a thousand different ethnic groups in Austria Hungary and yay national focus completed so now let's go reorganize Albania because we've gotta reorganize it you know you can't it can't stay too normal for too long We've got to get some improved can tools. So, yeah, that's really important. And now we're going to wait. Oh, oh, that's, that's, that's what we were waiting for. German Empire declared one, Belgium, Austria, Hungary, Empire declared one, Serbia. And folks, welcome to World War One. You know what that means. It's time to attack the Swiss. And I still can't attack the Swiss because they have the same ideology as me. Mm-mm, good. Serbia refuses Austrian demands. 
Serbia's refusal of the Austrian demands led to a declaration of war, which will no doubt be followed by countries others, countless others. Here begins the downward spire into world war. Yay! World war. Millions, millions dying. Very fun. Anti-French policy, you know, just, just, just reaffirm that surrendering is not good even further. Honor the Triple Alliance? Oh yes, spaghetti oh man. You, you better, you better believe the Mustache Bros are ready to, ready to attack. Mustache Bro 2 and Mustache Boy 1 is Mustache Boy is Mustache Boy 3 ready? Mustache Boy 4? They. Their mustaches should not be our mustaches. It shouldn't be called the Central Towers, it should be called the Mustache Powers. Everybody's got a mustache. And they're ready to rumble. And we probably should have made more troops before we decided to join the war, but. Who, who, who cares now? It's uh, it's a little too late for that. And uh, and three is going to have a fun. And it's time to attack. Stop training. Stop training. Stop training. This is what you've been training for. It's when this happened. Because, well, as we all know, Italy is not the best at preparing for war. But, during World War One, you're pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Unless we're joining the pot. United Kingdom is called Canada as our ally. Wait a minute, what? Wait a minute, what? Canada as our ally? But, but, but what? Britain's against us. What? It can what? Okay, that was a little confusing. The um thing decided to not have a proper brain and just not work. And it's time for our 150 bombers, or close air support rather, to uh, help us do something. Are we actually producing? We are missing some steel. Definitely not what we want to be doing in the middle of a world war. Early fighter and scout. Let's 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 go with some early fighters. We, we, we want some early fighters, especially considering we're we are the early fighters. We, we decided to join the fight a little bit too early. Italy, yeah, yeah, we decided to join the. The big bad scary war. Big bad scary war. And decide to um probably save you a lot of uh, a lot of time trying to get through the the wall, you know, because you, you got here. We almost got to Paris last time we tried, but uh, you didn't. And that was, that was not fun for you, was it? No, 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 it was not. And we are slowly, if you want to read that, you can. And you're slowly pushing through the lines of the French. Not very surprising. They're being pushed back, the Serbians. And the Russians are being pushed back as well. So, you might ask, who, who will win? Well, we don't know. At all. It could literally be anybody, especially, especially considering we're probably making guns out of sticks right now. And it's not, not that good. When your only guns are made out of sticks, and your guns are also firing rocks instead of bullets, and your gunpowder is made out of, out of sawdust. 
But other than that, we're, we're totally fine. We're, we're totally, totally not sinking into a slow downward spiral. Which we, we might be able to fix by building a few more factories. I should have done that earlier. And, um, we need some steel. Okay. Can, can, can somebody give us some steel? I want to steal some steel from you. Jeremy, can, can, can I have some steel? Appreciate it. Thank you. And apparently we need chromium too. And like the Hellenic Republic is willing to give us a little bit. Tiny donation of that. And we also need rubber because our country is literally has no resources whatsoever and acknowledge the Treaty of Bucharest. Okay. So we'll do that. And we're continuing to try to push anyway into the French territory. Not doing too well. Probably will as time goes on get better of a situation, but for now it's not going too well for us. Not too well at all. We're gonna try at least to make some divisions. And we're we're still still losing a lot. Can, can we get can we get a lend lease? Germany, can we, can we get can we get a lend lease? Please. Please can we get can we get a lend lease? I need a little bit of um a little bit of infantry equipment. But please. I I uh nope. Okay. Carl is dead. Uh Austria? Can, can we can we have some guns? Can we have some guns, please? We're literally shooting at him with racks. I mean if you like that, that's fine, but I, I don't really like shooting at him with rocks. It's not very effective. Especially when we are shooting at us with actual guns. Yeah, 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 they've capitulated. That's, that's pretty good. But not that good for me because I st I'm still, I'm, st I'm still making rocks. I'm still trying to use rocks to shoot. It's all red, it's all red. There's, there's no... We're, we are not reaching any sort of production quota at all, so I'm just, I'm just going to get rid of trying to make some airplanes. I'm, I'm just going to try, maybe, to get some decent weapons that don't die instantaneously. Especially considering we're, we're going to be in this mess for another 900 days. That's fun. And we still are yet to gain an inch. Wow. Everybody else is having a fun party over here. And yeah, you know, we're stalemate there. We're we are we're genuinely we are genuinely in a very bad situation currently. There is there is Pretty bad chance until we get some more factories. And I hope that's far, far sooner than later because we are going to run out of everything unless we get something soon. And we're going to be in this deficit for 900 days. It, it has gone up. Oh, 898 days actually. That's that's a lot better. Not by much. Part, partial mobilization. War economy. We, we, we need that. Because our country is about to experience hoopa loopa. We, we have no guns. They're literally made out of stones. 
and when Rox Jerry decided to pick up off the side of the road. We told him not to do it. Oh, thank you. The fourth mustache man has joined. And with that, we have done something. I mean, the mustache men are all united now. But we're, we're still losing. But we're still losing the war. It's it's not it's it's not so bad in the east here. It's just the west I'm worried about because we're only winning defensive battles. Just, just don't 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 keep pushing. You're just gonna kill men that don't need to die. Uh, this is this is very very bad. This is very bad. Did I say that? Cause I mean it. It it's pretty bad. We we need more. We need more steel. We're seriously just gonna run out of factories purely because there's no more of anything. Everything's just gone. Because we need steel. Because all the steel is gone. I need some factories. I need, I need tons of factories. The, the infantry equipment is going up for the first time in a long time. The only thing we're down on is support equipment. And it's not that bad. And it actually turned up. So we're going to be in this deficit for another 700 days. But... At least things are starting to look up, and we're not, it's probably because we're not just trying to push constantly against them, and we probably killed a lot of people from that, but look at how, look at how trained they're getting from the combat constantly, they're getting pretty well trained, far past, and this one's, this one's got seasoned, this, this guy, will not guide this division, but they're doing pretty good. They're holding the line, that's all they really need to be doing. Because we're not constantly throwing people against the enemy line, and we're not constantly losing weaponry in the process. We can actually fight a little bit better. Okay, pause the game real quick. Do, 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 do. Okay. Tank prototype. We're gonna research tank prototypes. So maybe we'll get some tanks. Maybe. Good question. Probably not, but 600 more days and then we'll have not a deficit. It is highly unlikely that German troops will ever be able to breach British mainland in the current situation. However, our Zeppelin bomber balloons will be able to strike at the heart of British industry from afar, though they may send their pathetic little fighter planes to try and strike them down. It's unlikely that we'll even be able to come close in altitude. This will show John Bull on my... Considering I've played, uh, played Battlefield 1, I don't think this is going to go too well for you, buddy. Just... Just a little. I just have a little bit of a... Uh, idea that that's not going to go too well. What? Ooh, that... Gets us a civilian factory, and that is very good. We need that. Are we pushing any, or are we just sitting there on that front? Oh, the French have decided to actually give up constantly pushing against my line, which is kind of good. It gives me time to get resources to my troops. 
so I can replenish the stockpile that has been completely destroyed by the constant war of them pushing and me losing tons of stuffs. That's just the way it rolls. But we are trying to get Oh, I didn't even realize that I didn't even realize that I had troops over here. Let me tell you something. If I had realized this a little bit sooner, I might have been able to actually have done something here. But it is highly unlikely by this point that I'm going to be able to do anything. Maybe, maybe we can fight back a little bit. Maybe we can push, push their lands a little bit. Maybe we can push in Africa. Get a little bit of push. Oh yeah, also... I forgot that we have these as well. Just join that. That's... I really don't care about this down here. I'm more concerned about... Mostly, I'm concerned about my home front. But... Libya is also pretty important, and I don't want to lose the African front completely, so I'm just going to consolidate my troops in Libya because it's a better option compared to the other places, such as here and Eritrea. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember what that place is called. Something with an S. Somalia? I think it might be. Maybe, possibly, probably. This is this is great. Real nice, real nice. You've managed to destroy our only supply line. How you do these things is amazing. Seriously, they're they're not like being big and scary or anything. No, not really. They're just there. Oh, oh, that was... That's better than I thought it was going to be. Hey, hey, we might actually push a little bit. We, we might... We, we we might actually get, get one inch of land. It, it could happen. Unless they start death sapping their troops again, and then we're, we're not going to do anything. But I highly doubt that it's probably just gonna be us losing more equipment than we need to be so I'm just gonna just gonna hold back on that you know just so we don't lose all our equipment oh great buddy you know why why should you do this why did you I I just, just toward Two of our divisions just got killed because th these guys let them get encircled. Okay, okay, that's that's perfectly fine. Oh, a lens, something I actually need. Probably something I don't need, but maybe it'll help. Oh, it's 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 it motorized. That we're getting. Why are we- why are we losing so much stuff now? Again, it's probably because we're losing all the battles. Again, and it's... Being like, nope. Not this time. And we, we actually... Are losing... Infantry equipment again. Stop trying to pick fights that we're not gonna win. We're going to lose them almost indefinitely. And... Not... Gonna be fun at all so hopefully we can cement ourselves in at a good enough point where we can invade france pretty soon because we really need to do that that's something 
our fighters that we need to get up in the air and oh we actually finished that that was probably stupid for me to just sit there not do anything do 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 okay Yeah, we're gonna go this way. Because we definitely need West Alpine. We don't need really any protection to the north. Because everybody on the north is on our side. And hopefully we can push soon. Or they'll try to push and we can take advantage of it. Let's just see the losses currently. They have 1.19 million. And we have 800,000. That's a lot of deaths. And let's see France, 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 probably pass it. Nope. I, I've caused them almost 70,000 deaths. They've caused over 100,000 on me. So, I mean, it's, it's, you win some, you lose a lot. Okay, it's it's not it's not a fair, fair trade system. We're not exactly doing too hot here. Um, I need some bombers. Can do I have extra research slots? Yes, I need bombers, tactical bombers. Here we go. Yay! Now we're getting somewhere. Now we might actually be able to. Invade places with ease instead of toiling away. And just trying to fight the never ending battle. Seriously, there's like no progress on the Western Front at all. The Eastern Front. We're actually pushing Russia back quite a bit. It might we might actually have a similar result to what happened in real life there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna fortify Sardinia. Yes, we need forts. I instantly regret that because I realized we don't even want Sardinia anymore. Because it fell to the hands of the French. Well, that looks like a good place to leave off. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button down below, and don't forget to like it. Bye-bye.